Hey there, Dr. Pineset, the pre-med productivity expert, bringing you success. Yes, today we're gonna to talk about success, and I have a lot of entries on success, but today we're gonna to focus on how success does not happen overnight, right? A lot of times we look at people who are successful and we think they've always been successful. Right? I hear all the time, oh, Andre, you're so smart. You've always been smart. Oh, Andre, you've always, you always, no, no. I'm not any more naturally smart than anyone else. But what I am is harder working. What I am is more dedicated. What I am is more focused. And all those things go together to build up over time into the smartness you see, right? And that's what you have to realize is that success, it's not like an Amazon package, right? You can't just go on, click online, select one day shipping with your prime discount, right? And then all of a sudden, magically the next day, a package shows up. It's not gonna say success on it. Right? That's not how it works. You actually have to put in time, effort, and energy. You know what I mean? You gotta be on that grind. You gotta be working. Right? And after you do all the work and all the lead up, then you get the success. You know? One of my favorite, you know, uh, one of my favorite athletes is Floyd Mayweather. And you can say whatever you want about his personal life and all that stuff. I don't comment on that. But the reason I really respect Floyd Mayweather is because he understands that Success follows that hard work. It doesn't come before it. You gotta put in that time. And one of the coolest things I ever saw was on one of his 24 seven episodes. Uh, so if you don't know Floyd Mayweather, he's the boxer, right? And he has other boxers who he mentors that are coming up. And one of them was Adrian Bonner. And if you've ever seen Adrian Bonner, he's basically like a little Floyd Mayweather. He's very flashy, very over the top, all those things. And Adrian Bronner, <clears throat> was in Floyd Mayweather's camp, he was training, and he went into this fight, and he wasn't training as hard as he should, and he went in and he got knocked out. And he was all upset, and he was blaming everyone else, and Floyd came out and said something that was awesome, and it should be less than everybody. He came out and said, you know, Adrian, he's not ready. He said, he's not ready to be a champion because he, he hasn't put in the work. He doesn't understand what it takes to be a champion yet. And that's what you have to understand, is that it doesn't just happen overnight, you can't just be flashy and you know buy the big cars and do all these things. You got to put the time and the effort in the gym. When you see Floyd Mayweather training videos, that guy is working hard. When you see Floyd Mayweather, you see he's got a 15 pack, not a six pack. He's got a 15 pack, right? You can see every muscle in that guy's body. You think that just happens overnight? You just get ripped like that? <laughs> you know, I see people who talk trash on these Instagram celebrities who you know are on there half naked on Instagram, and you know I'm not with that. But people say, oh, they're talentless. Do you know how hard it is to get a six pack? If a six pack was easy to get, we'd all have six packs, right? If it was easy to have huge biceps, we'd all have huge biceps. But it doesn't just happen overnight. You actually have to be in the gym every day, right? You gotta do those thousand crunches a day. You have to eat healthy, eat lean, right? You can't be eating the junk food that we all love. That's hard work, that's effort. And the end result is you can get on Instagram, be half naked and look good. People will like you and friend you and follow you, right? But it doesn't just happen overnight. You have to work for it. And it's the same way with your success, both in the classroom and in your journey to medical school. You know, a lot of times I'll work with students and I'll teach them a study uh, strategy and they'll say, oh my gosh, this is great. And they'll go home and they'll try it and it will be hard for them and they'll struggle and they'll quit and they'll go back to doing their old way. And what I always have to remind people is, did, 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 did you get good at anything overnight? Right? Even when you were learning how to do a, ride a bike. Most of us can ride a bike now without even thinking. But when you first started out, you're falling all over the place. You need training wheels, right? Your parents are freaking out, thinking you're gonna kill yourself on the bike. And then eventually you worked at it, you worked at it, you worked at it, and then you can ride a bike without even thinking. That's the same way with study skills. When you try a new study strategy, it's gonna take time. But if you work at it, if you analyze your study habits, if you you know keep modifying and thinking about it, you're gonna get better at it. That's what it takes to be successful. Then you're gonna have success. But you cannot have success before you put in the work, the time, and the energy to get that success. It's not free. Success is never free. You know, I've worked hard. I've sacrificed a lot for the, the success I have, how little it may be or whatever. I've worked hard for my success. And if you want to have success also, you got to work hard for it. All right? So start that work today and realize that everything you put in today is going to pay off in that success tomorrow. Have a great day. This is Dr. Pineset, the pre-med productivity expert. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, The Pre-Med Productivity Expert. Also like me on Facebook at The Pre-Med Productivity Expert uh, on Facebook.